into solo fishing today. Pond X, we'll call it. Uh, pretty far off of the main road. Hearing some voices and dogs and stuff, so might have some random encounters right now. Anyways, it's Veterans Day, so shout out to the veterans. If it wasn't for you guys protecting and serving our country, I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this. Just got this in the mail. For those of you who don't follow me on social, uh, some big news. I just joined Team Snagproof, uh, their pro staff. So, got a bunch of their stuff. Gonna rep them to the fullest, man. This is their Wobbletron in a Tweety Bird pattern. Check it out. we end up getting a top water blow up or a fish or something like that that'll be a bonus but for the middle of November I really don't expect the top water bite to be too great right now but you never know more more or less I just wanted to bring these out get them on the water you know give you guys a first-hand view of uh, what snag proof's got going on man they've been in the game for a long time Take a look at the snag proof buzz frog. This is the white pattern. It is equal parts hollow body frog and buzz bait. A little bit of a little bit of both. Give you guys a good look at it. Hopefully get a blow up while we're at it. As you can see, it goes right through the vegetation. One of my favorite things about throwing a buzz bait or a hollow body frog is being able to throw them absolutely anywhere. No cover, open water, and throwing them in the thickest cover. And as you see, they just cut right through it. More often than not, that's where the big boys are hanging out, right there. over there. Look at that. It cuts right through it like nothing. And it floats too. It's one thing about the buzz baits. Basically as soon as they hit the water you got to start reeling to keep them, keep them above water and keep them buzzing but with this buzz frog, the uh, frog keeps it floating. So you can let it sit there and pause for a little bit and it'll stay on top of the water. Start again. That's kind of one of those, one, one uh, advantage that I like about the buzz frog as opposed to regular buzz bait. You can give it a stop and go retrieve. And it'll just sit there right on top of the water whereas regular buzz bait would be sinking. 
also kind of gives the gives the fish a little bit bigger profile to to strike at when they do decide to bite check them out snagproof.com As you can see, we're uh, running out of daylight. Got a couple different projects going on right now, so I'm trying to devote my time equally. But I just want to get out here, get these on the water for a little bit, give you guys a little bit of a preview of what they look like. Feel free to hit me up at any time if you guys have any questions about snag proof. If you want to know what they got going on, if you have any questions, any concerns, anything at all, hit me up, man. I love to sit and chat, chat about fishing all day long.